Well, we just saw a few inches of snow in Massachusetts. Parts of Connecticut got hammered with more than a foot. Take a look at this. This is video from Hartford. West Hartford, Farmington seemed to get the jackpot amounts with both getting a little more than 15 inches of snow. Ah, and that's a lot of heavy wet snow to shovel. Yeah, it doesn't Don't look fun. That. Not fun, Pete. Uh, but Pete, I'm thinking about selfishly my commute home tonight. <laughs> so I need to know how low the temperatures are going to go if it's going to be icy. Yeah. Or not. You can make the quick escape. Uh, I think we'll be fine because the temperatures are still above freezing in any spots, especially uh, around Boston. Now, refreeze overnight tonight, so the temperatures will sink back into the 20s, by the way. And late night and into the early morning, there might be some slick spots. Gusty Wednesday forecast with goes gust getting up to 40 miles an hour and light snow on Thursday night. Oh, do I even want to approach that? Yes, of course. We are moving on, even though we are still pretty down about the forecast. I mean, you know, it was a tough one all around. We realize a lot of people made plans and daycare and all that and yeah that weighs heavy on us and this storm system was a tricky one taking that turn last minute which is very unusual i will add for a nor'easter that had high confidence and now it's pummeling halifax and out through cape breton island look at the glow on that radar a deep blue color like that you know it's an inch an hour now Back through the west, we have some clouds. There's a little frontal boundary, but look at the temperatures in Sudbury, Ontario. See that 14 degrees? That air is coming our way, and this will plunge south, that cold air, and reinforce the cold we have over us. So, yes, it will get colder. And tomorrow will be case in point. The wind chill right now with a breeze. It's still in the upper 20s, so it feels like winter. But those winds tomorrow will feel like we're in the midst of a kind of a mini wind storm with gusts over 30 miles an hour, some up to near 40 miles an hour. So that's your day on Wednesday. Hooray. And at least the sun's out. I, yeah. The wind chill factor all day long will run in the teens to 20 degrees at best. And that's what you're dressing for all day. So plan on that. Now, tomorrow night, it may back off a little bit. By the way, the high temperature, about 34 degrees. That's almost a laughable number because it'll never feel like that tomorrow. 28 in Worcester. Sunshine blending with some cloud cover. And Thursday looking pretty good. Also bright. In the afternoon, the clouds will start to approach. Thursday's high temperature is about 38 degrees, but what happens Thursday night is what's important because we have another band of snow arcing back through Albany and into Ontario that rolls in. Now the temperatures will cool off. It does look like we have a chance at making some of the snow stick. Not a strong weather system. In before dark and out before daylight on Friday. So uh, that's it. And back to sunshine. This could put down maybe an inch in Boston, if we're lucky, maybe a coating. Worcester is a better shot of seeing an inch or two. A hilly terrain of central mass and southern New Hampshire, too. Best chance is really along and north of the pike for one to three inches on Thursday night. Ironically, we could get more snow in the Merrimack Valley than we did with this nor'easter. Now, there's another shot at a little bit of light snow on Saturday, but that's not a big issue. Other than that, no big drops in temperature or rises, no big warm-ups, and no real threats for any looming storms out there. Tonight, refreeze is on as we go through the night. Clearing skies. This is an abrupt drop, by the way, so we have time. And then a steady breeze. In fact, I think many roads will dry out before they freeze up if they're untreated. 34, sun returns gusty and cold. Sunset tomorrow night at 514. That is nice to have that lingering twilight through 530 at least, maybe even 545 in some cases. So there's a Saturday threat then through President's Day. It's nice. There's no big jump in the temp, though. We stay in the 30s. We're struggling over the next few days. And then next week, we go back into the lower 40s, a slow climb up once again with sunny skies.